What's up guys, Matty Watson here. After doing some research on a website called Sydney Spot Finder, I am now here in Australia's most populated city to hunt down the best stealth camp van life parking spots that are free 24 seven so that you too can visit the Harbor City on a budget. What's comedy? What? You got some comedy? Huh? You want a comedy? It's bad. What's in comedy? So this beautiful street I had picked out is called Bray Street. Something I noticed when I first pulled in, and you're about to notice right now, despite being a little side street, way busier than you'd like. Um, other bad things that I've found, these two sides are only two hour parking. It's free after 10. Let me get out of the way of this guy. Oh man, they're flying through here. The free parking, these are them. One, two, three, four. And that cute little scooter over there. Those are the free spots, which is close to King Street, which as you can hear already from where I am right now, way louder than you want it to be. Bray Lane, I think is what I originally looked at with Google Street View. This looks, this looks adorable. It's got cu three cute little spots right here. It's in the shade, away from all the friggin' cars passing over here. So it would be nice and quiet, but I'm willing to bet those three cars belong to the three people living on the other side and they're not gonna be available very often. Let's go check out the other side of it. So where I'm parked right here is good for only two hours. So that's not gonna do. This is a problem too. I didn't see that on the map. I don't know if that runs all night or if it shuts off at some point, but you don't wanna be sleeping next to that. Because the other option was this street. There's two hour parking on this side. This side doesn't appear to have any signage. So I guess on the left side at Concord Street, there's free parking, but you got your train slash subway over there and all the cars that are flying through over here. Wouldn't be a peaceful sleep, but you could sleep. All right, so here we are parked Rockford Street. Ooh, hey, another camper. The thing that worries me about here is um, everybody's mirrors are either pulled in or if they're not, um, they've been knocked off because of how thin this road is. It is free parking, however, on both sides, which is uh, which is nice, but it's too crowded. That's my instinct right away. It's There's too many buildings, too many doorways and front windows facing you down that street. You're surrounded on both sides. And then on top of that, there's cars lining both lanes as well and um i'd just be worried that someone's gonna someone's gonna hit someone's gonna hit your car there someone's gonna hit the, hit your car eventually if you're parked there for a while if your mirrors don't fold in then they're gonna come off it is worth mentioning that there are a ton of spots down this street but of the ones i've looked at thus far it's my least favorite so i'm here on lang road there is a ton of free parking running up and down this street, all next to these beautiful houses. Fellow road warrior has found a spot right here. I think part of the appeal is Centennial Park that runs all along this road. However, worth noting, despite there being, when I say tons of parking spots, I, I don't know, I'm gonna guesstimate here, I'll say 50. This is the only one I could find. This is Centennial Park. Tons of place to leave your vehicle, although they only want you to have it there for three hours. But like I said, if you wanted to make this a long-term camping site, Lang Road runs uh, just along here. There's a place to cook in this park, place to eat, place to play, place to drink some water, place to put your rubbish, and a place to put your butt rubbish. This is a nice spot. I would say this is the furthest out of the city core of all of the uh, spots that I've showed you. But hey, if you're like me with a fold-up bike, you probably get to the core in 10, 15 minutes. All right, I'm here on Fox Ave. It's right beside this oval right here, which um, on the map said there was public toilets. There are some, they're locked. This entire street, free bowl size, as you can see, popular amongst uh, other van lifers. I always love checking out to see what other people got going on. Oh, they got a nice little, nice place to sit in the back there. Curtains are a dead giveaway. Oh, and there's a friggin' bus up here too. Looks like it's got three solar panels up top. Surfboard, awning. This thing's a mansion. Busy enough street as he pulls back to not get hit by a vehicle. Coming from the left-hand side. I'm not saying you Aussie drive on the wrong side of the road, but we can all agree you're not driving on the right side of the road. Lots of place to have a picnic. There's even a picnic table over there and a place to cook. This place works, 
but uh, I think we can do better. Let's head a little bit north, a little more downtown to the Glebe area and uh, see what we can find there. All right, so this is Oxley Street. All the streets around here seem to be only two hour parking, but then in this little back corner, there are three spots. One of them is handicapped. The other two are not, and you've got to check out this friggin' view that comes with it. There's a nice little trail here that everyone seems to be running down. And on top of that, just, my van's just up there, just over here. A toilet. And as far as a public toilet goes, this seems to be the most impressive one I've ever seen. You don't even need to squat on this one. And this spot would be perfect, but I've just seen a sign that sort of covers this area and it says restricted parking area, park in bays only. That's fine, I've done that. Three bays, I'm in one of the three. Then below that it says loading zone, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday, 6 a.m. to midday Saturday. It's gotta mean everywhere in the zone, right? Or else why would you put that? If it only affects the area where the bins are, then you would just have the first sign. But if this whole area is a loading zone, and that to me says that all of a sudden these three bays are not free parking. And at the other side it says end restricted parking area. Therefore this is restricted, bound by the rules on the other side of this sign. Everything over here doesn't apply to it, but everything else is two hour parking. That sucks. Really thought I had it here. Like look at that view. That's insane. That would have been nuts. Dang. Thanks for checking out this video, buddy. If you wouldn't mind just giving it a little thumbs up, throw the channel a sub, and then just send this video to a friend. I have been scouring the streets of Sydney hunting for the perfect place to stealth van life camp for free 24-7, and I'm here to tell you that I've found it. And next week, I'm gonna show you. Shout out to my sponsor, Super Sparrow. I absolutely love these guys. They make bottles that makes it possible to carry around a liquid substance that you need to survive. Check out supersparrow.com for all of your water bottle needs and use code MAT25 at checkout to get 25% off your entire order. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next week.